global partnership for emergency preparedness partners with governments interested in having their own humanitarian response depot capacities. When entering the HRD, uncovered external space allows for clear turning arcs for vehicles loading and unloading, staff and visitor parking, as well as space for spillover stock. The facilities are surrounded by high-walled or secure fencing with flood lighting for night security. Wind and solar energy equipment can also be integrated here or on the roof of the main facility to increase energy efficiency. Within an HRD, standard office space provides for a range of roles from warehouse management through finance and administration and will have as a standard a meeting room, but may also include training facilities. The office space also allows for conversion to a crisis management center in the event of an emergency. The warehouse itself is accessible for large vehicles and equipped with all the necessary machinery, such as forklifts and pallet jacks. Inside the warehouse racking is separated by standardized spacing on all sides for easy access and movement, allowing for safe and effective loading and pickup of items. This spacing also aids better ventilation, important for many products. HRD facilities may also, if requested, have a cold storage component for medical supplies and other products with refrigeration requirements. The racking is designed to optimize space within the facility and in many cases will also be laid out and designed in conjunction with the barcoding system. The racking will also be designed with goods conformed specifications dependent on need and products to be stored. Within the layout of the warehouse, items can be stored by clusters such as shelter, water and sanitation as part of sets of standardized emergency relief items. This reduces the time spent on kitting products when an emergency strikes. Returning to the outside of the warehouse, when an emergency strikes, the large open space can be reconverted to a staging area, potentially housing mobile storage units that can act as an extra storage space or accommodate emergency response staff, or simply remain as a space for simulation exercises to complement their training facilities.